first warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Happy to say a big thank you to Mike Mott for sharing his fall picture with us. See King at WTVO.com is where you can share your fall photos. With the wind, you might have noticed those changing leaves kind of blowing around a little more. And we've got a couple of windy days coming up yesterday, today, and tomorrow, too. Again, you can always share your fall photos, whether it be the uh, leaves changing color, maybe some decorations you have inside or outside of your house or taking advantage of the beautiful weather we're expected to have uh, here these next several days. A live look with our Mercial SkyTrack camera up in Beloit, Wisconsin. Plenty of sunshine after we had a few clouds roll through earlier this morning. We're able to clear out as high pressure continues to build in behind a cold front that came through early this morning. But despite that front coming through, temperatures have actually warmed. 74 in Rockford, 72 in Freeport, Monroe, 73 right now in Dixon, and 72 our current temperature in Rochelle. Yes, the downfall has been the wind, but that westerly wind actually working to warm those temperatures up. 75, our weather watcher Bob here in Rockford is checking in with dew point numbers have come up to sitting at 42 degrees, but still very comfortable out there. We will hang on to that clear sky through the night tonight. Actually, strong winds in the jet stream bypassing us to the north, working a storm system through the high plains into the upper Midwest. That is going to stay to our north. If anything, we might get a couple of clouds kind of clip parts of southern Wisconsin here later this evening and overnight, but that is going to be it. Now, with that wind, it does stay strong and might actually increase a little bit as we go through the evening hours tonight, and that will keep our temperatures warm, low 50s for the overnight lows. And as we have another cold front come in, actually that front sitting back across the central plains, our temperatures are still going to be in the 70s for tomorrow afternoon. So down to 53 degrees for us tonight. Sun does set a little before 630 here this evening. Winds will be gusting at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Back up to 72 for tomorrow afternoon. Probably the only downside I can think of for tomorrow outside of that breeze. Our sunrise officially now coming up after 7 o'clock. One thing you do have to watch though for tomorrow as the wind picks up, it's going to help mix down a little more dry air. So our relative humidity values will actually drop as we go throughout the day tomorrow. So this could elevate the fire danger. So if you're thinking about maybe burning any brush or getting out in the fields tomorrow, just know that that with combined with the drier air, you've just got a slight elevated risk. But getting out into the fields these next couple of days, no problems. Again, down just going to be the wind. Could get a little gusty again on Wednesday. Same thing on Friday. But look what that southwesterly wind does to our temperature. There you go. We've got 80 degrees possibly for Friday afternoon. Let's go down to the south, to the Caribbean, because Hurricane Delta strengthened rapidly overnight. Now a Category 4 hurricane, maximum sustained winds at 145 miles per hour. This continues to move to the west and northwest at about 17 miles per hour. This is expected to move close to the Louisiana co coastline later this week and then into the upcoming weekend. As it makes landfall, which it will, it'll be the fifth hurricane to do so to make landfall in the continental U.S. this year. That compares to our hurricane season of 2005, and we all know how active and destructive that one. It was this year, no exception. Temperatures for us, though, we are dry. We don't have to worry about any type of destructive weather this week. 77 on Saturday. We will, though, Eric, see the numbers drop back as we get a little bit more of a pattern change into early next week, and that could bring our first real significant chance for some rainfall during that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time.